Now, I'd like to tell you the story of a shootout in a notorious saloon on <coughs> the eastern Australia, uh, Victorian goldfields. I shall not name the uh, establishment in this account, but uh, it was open in the 1800s. The exact date escapes me at the right at the moment. I'm just, I was just sitting there quietly on my usual table, playing a quiet game of cards, winning a little money and as well, while enjoying a quiet drink. When all hell descended upon me and the, and the entire company, there were lots of yelling, swearing and bellowing. Then pistol shots rang out, thundered through the whole saloon, followed by much more cursing, blood-curdling screams. I quickly came to the conclusion that there were probably much better, play, more healthy places for me to be at this precise moment. The thought was greatly enhanced by an angry, whining, droning bullet that passed frozenly close to my left ear. I tried to think of a safe way to extract myself from the situation. About this time, with the blood splattered everywhere, total confusion with the yelling and swearing, etc, 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 finally through the cloud of gun smoke, I could see the doorway. It appeared a lot of other people had come to the same conclusion, that being to get the bloody hell out of here as fast as possible. Oh, bloody hell fast! So we all poured out of the street through the, do through the door, jammed in as we were, uh, uh, in the darkness of the night. Some were lost in the inky darkness, and never to be seen again. But it was not over yet. There were two, two hard heads were still trying to shoot it out the street resulting in two more people being wounded. I think they're only wounded. It seemed, to be, it seemed to finally stop when they ran out of bullets. I decided to go home, I was for sure. I would like... It would be quite a lot less stimulating around, around my own fire. Now, I have to say that I can say without fear of contradiction that I don't think I'll be playing cards any time soon. Again, any time soon. Now, there may be a little snow on the thatch, but I have to say, there's a good roaring blaze still burning in the heart. Even so, I feel play, guard, play, playing cards may be a little overstimulating for me. I mean to say, the heart and lead, blood gushing everywhere, not to mention the noise from, uh, from the shootout. But the bloody poor bugger who got thrown at our table was screaming bloody blue murder. Hell, it was only a flesh wound in the leg. It was... So that it gave me a nasty, isn't it? A very nasty headache, and my ears only just stopped ringing from the high pitched screaming. With all that hot lead and flying in all directions, blood splattered all, out, all around, also the bodies falling around, all the wailing, groaning, and legendary unsavoury comments, was a little overstimulating. In fact, I have to say it was a, bloody, it was a little bit too bloody much. So I'm going home now to take a, no, take a little pill. A nice cup of tea and a nice long lie down. So if you enjoyed that, may your laughter be long and loud. And if any of you wish to pursue, pursue more of my dubious misdeeds, please go to YouTube Pussy Johns.